the Republic of Zambia, a nation with a keen eye on the future. A peaceful land in the heart of Southern Africa with a reputation for political stability. A country of determination on a mission to enhance its economic potential through Vision 2030. Nestled in the heart of the southern African continent, Zambia borders eight other countries, including Tanzania, Botswana, Namibia, and Mozambique. It's home to around 14.3 million, and the capital city is Lusaka. Zambia has seen a decade of rapid economic growth. In 2010, the World Bank dubbed it one of the world's fastest economically reformed countries, which was closely followed by a successful reduction of annual inflation rates and its rise to middle-income status. The main challenge on the economic front is to maintain the rapid economic growth that uh, Zambia has experienced over the past decade. Uh, it's a period where growth has averaged over 7% a year, placing Zambia among the fastest growing economies worldwide. Uh, maintaining that high growth rate will be important. Uh, it can be done by leveraging Zambia, Zambia's resources in, in uh, minerals and uh, in agriculture. Uh, and by doing that, it will be able to develop its economy and uh, improve living standards for the population. Following its independence in 1964, Zambia's economy was debatedly quiet until the late 1990s when privatization of mining began to draw in investments and improve its output. Zambia is now the continent's biggest copper producer and credited for helping the country achieve rapid growth through investments and related infrastructure. The government are striving to promote many opportunities in this sector, including supply of semi-processed oil and the proposed Cafu Gorge lower power stations. Securing financing for these projects, among others, is of the utmost importance to the nation's future. However, despite the sector's success, reducing dependence on minerals is a priority, particularly due to internationally fluctuating commodity prices and the consequent economic effects. The Zambia Weights and Measures Agency, ensuring transparent, accurate weights and measures of a wide variety of products. ZWMA helps ensure a world-class environment for investors in Zambia. Roland Imperial Tobacco Company, transforming the finest Zambian tobaccos into world-class tobacco products. We support Zambia's small-scale tobacco farmers and aim to invest in local tobacco processing. We welcome joint venture partnerships. Just Aluminum, providing reliable, high-quality aluminum products and services for contractors and consultants involved in major construction projects in Zambia. As a 100% Zambian enterprise founded in 1990, we know the Zambian market. We have in-depth local expertise, excellent technical backup, and a range of specialized products. And we are diversifying into supplying products. Just Aluminum, ready to work with you. Monguinness Bakers Limited, producing top quality cookies since 2008. Known for its innovation, Monguinness Bakers distributes its cookies throughout Zambia and it's expanding its product line. Monguinness Bakers, a Zambian success story. Zambia has been maintaining a steady annual growth rate of around 5.7% through the last decade, steadily striding its way towards middle income status. Its careful combination of market liberalization, privatization, and prudent macroeconomic management are said to contribute to this success, along with the steep international increase in copper prices. 
Yet this economic growth has not yet reduced Zambia's national poverty number. At present, over 70% of Zambia's rural population are considered to suffer from extreme poverty, which has only grown with the increase in population, making welfare a strong focus for development. Historically, FDI has streamed into mining, manufacturing, and retail trade. And while non-traditional exports have risen to around 1 billion US dollars annually, the government needs to enhance economic diversification to realize its many other investment opportunities. If you look at the mining sector, as I had mentioned earlier, you have a lot of mineral deposits uh, which are not being exploited, and they can be exploited. You look at the manufacturing uh, industry, if you bring in um, manufacturing uh, firms here, the market, Zambia is a member of two regional groupings, Comesa and, uh, and Sadiq. That, that basically uh, results in a market from Egypt to South Africa. If you consider that, that is something that you can also uh, look at and say this is a potential area where uh, companies can come and, uh, and take advantage of. The need for American companies to invest in Zambia's key sectors and, in particular, energy, health and agriculture, is one of the main issues being discussed on a bilateral level with the U.S. In partnership with the AGOA, the government has now benchmarked the U.S. as a key trading partner and one that has not yet been fully utilized. There are also lesser-known sectors that have scope for investment. ICT, for example, has achieved promising development over the last 10 years, and the government is working to further liberalize and privatize the sector. Internet access is presently limited, and there is plenty of opportunity for growth in telecommunications. Research has shown that uh, penetration levels in this sector remain quite low um, compared to the rest of Africa. Uh, and, and, and so this is one area where we we should channel investment. We need to, to increase the uptake of broadband services. So much so that the Zambia Information and Communication Technology Authority have called upon the private sector to invest and help build necessary rural infrastructure to better serve the nation. Zambia is, uh, you know, obviously very endowed with uh, potential. Uh, in, in various things uh, of uh, running an economy, a successful economy. But what we don't have uh, is enough money and we don't have enough te uh, technical know-how uh, and people who are skilled enough to do certain things. So the technology we're using, we're trying to catch up all the time. But if we can uh, have our friends from uh, the more developed countries come here and bring better technology, uh, better skills, uh, better work culture, you know, our culture in Zambia, unfortunately, has been very poor. Zambia's high poverty and hunger rates have made the healthcare and pharmaceutical sector a priority. 60% of the nation's overall population are living below the poverty line, while high incidence levels of HIV, AIDS and malaria remain. The country is arguably too dependent on the copper industry which can be prone to fluctuation and has not yet generated the necessary jobs and income levels once hoped for. Much of the necessary investment for health comes from international aid, but as a sign of the government's commitment, the national allocation for healthcare spending was increased in 2013, and efforts are being channeled to improve the sector for the Zambian people. The Zambia Bureau of Standards, also known as ZABS, is the national standards body which supports the nation's steps to better increase quality and standardization. The Bureau is there to ensure that you know, we harmonize the standards. And then also the Bureau is there to ensure that you know, we provide these services you know, for, uh, for testing. So for the investor, from a standardization point of view, Zambia Bureau of Standards is a, major, is a member of the International Organization for Standardization. Fairface. With 20 years of construction experience, the latest equipment and technologies, and skilled employees, we can handle the most challenging construction projects. Fairface. Quality construction in Zambia. 
CEC, providing reliable energy and high quality services for over 50 years. An independent power transmission and electricity distribution company with interests in fiber optic infrastructure, CEC is a member of the Southern African Power Pool and is listed on the Lusaka Stock Exchange. CEC also serves the regional market through the interconnector with the DCR. CEC, energy and service customers can rely on. Sterilin. We bring a complete range of top international pharmaceutical, diagnostic, and FMCG products to patients, healthcare providers, and customers in Zambia. We represent leading pharmaceutical companies worldwide, and we welcome new partnerships. The Zambia Bureau of Standards. As the country's national standards body, we handle standardization, quality assurance, and metrology SQAM matters. Through our SQAM services, we facilitate trade, support enterprise, and ensure safety of products. Real-Time Zambia. We offer award-winning ICT services to corporate customers all over the country. Our cutting-edge communication solutions meet your business needs. Real-Time Zambia, your preferred ICT services provider. Shakespeare Court, upmarket apartments with fully equipped kitchens, Wi-Fi internet, DSTV, towels, and bed linen. You can count on a great fitness club, an internationally designed swimming pool and conference facilities, free laundry and an ideal location next to Crossroads Mall, Cabalonga, Lusaka. We'd love to welcome you and your international guests. So why not book Shakespeare Court today? Occam's Lodge, a 100% Zambian family-owned property with world-class facilities for business and leisure travelers. We offer 43 high-quality guest rooms, 33 in our property in Roma, and 10 in our property in Chalala. We are well known for our high-quality food, exceptional service, and state-of-the-art conference rooms, ideal for business meetings and special events. Occam's Lodge, your top choice in Zambia. The government is working to increase economic growth from 5 to 7 percent to help achieve its Millennium Development Goals and fulfill Vision 2030. The banking industry is already growing at a rate of around 30 percent each year, and the central bank says Zambian lenders are benefiting from the country's economic progress. According to Zambia's National Commercial Bank, only an estimated 37 percent of the bankable population are said to have bank accounts. One of the challenges in reaching Vision 2030 is in ensuring that scarce fiscal resources are spent on activities to promote Zambia's competitiveness and provide services for locals to participate in its progression. The Office of the Auditor General formally revealed the misuse of government resources within some sectors, which was followed by considered efforts to improve overall governance of financial resources and enhance efficiency for all. In Chito and in Chito, is a, is a full-service law firm that, is, that practices law in Lusaka, the capital of Zambia. It is rated by Chambers International, a rating of law firms. And it is also a member of International Referrals, which is an international organization that registers law firms by practice areas. The firm has five lawyers who are competent to deal with all aspects of law and has specialized in particular corporate and commercial litigation. It is a firm that has international and national clientele and has uh, worked with clients all over the globe, ranging from the UK, South Africa and the United States. Zambia's interior landscape is interlinked through 67,000 kilometers of road with only 8,000 kilometers paved. The government has set its sights on doubling this number by 2017 at an estimated cost of $6 billion. Selected areas of capital city Lusaka are already undergoing transformation with the construction of new and existing roads, creating new jobs and helping support the economy. 
the government hopes to find over $500 million from investments to support building a new airport in the mineral region of Copper Belt. Just one of the many opportunities for interested international investors. The biggest challenge we are faced with in construction is lack of capital in terms of construction machinery. We don't manufacture construction machinery locally. That means we have to import it from outside and the cost of borrowing is very high. Casey Chidono Consultancy, competence in driving businesses where businesses are really at. Known for providing business solutions to local and international businesses. Casey Shidono Consultancy. The Competition and Consumer Protection Commission, CCPC of Zambia, ensures free, fair, and competitive markets for the benefit of business and consumers. We encourage entry and sustainability of business and welcome investors to Zambia. A public institution established by an act of parliament, we at Zambia's Road Development Agency take our public responsibilities seriously. RDA Zambia, transforming Zambia into a truly land-linked country. Occam's Lodge, a 100% Zambian family-owned property with world-class facilities for business and leisure travelers. We offer 43 high-quality guest rooms, 33 in our property in Roma, and 10 in our property in Chalala. We are well known for our high-quality food, exceptional service, and state-of-the-art conference rooms, ideal for business meetings and special events. Occam's Lodge, your top choice in Zambia. Agriculture is said to be Zambia's sleeping giant. It is a critical sector of its economy, playing an important part in enhancing sustainable growth for the country, yet has a significant sum of untapped potential. There are multiple avenues of opportunity for investors within this sector, including priority investment for wheat, sugar, cotton, maize, and tea crops. Livestock is already registering positive growth yet is faced with low productivity due to underinvestment and limited technology for animal farming. For investors and potential partners, there is also an increasing demand for agricultural equipment, necessary improvements in irrigation to be implemented, and a requirement for improved infrastructure to ease transportation of goods and overall trade. Zambian fertilizers, crop-specific lime-enriched organic-enriched fertilizers customized for Zambia's different soil conditions. We welcome international partners who can help us continue to grow. Zambian fertilizers, the region's most environmentally friendly fertilizer provider. At Roma Place, business travelers will find a lush, green oasis not far from Lusaka's bustling city center, offering secure, private accommodations and personal services our contemporary apartment hotel provides the ultimate in comfort and elegance. Private gardens, barbecues, and a sparkling pool afford ample opportunity to entertain guests or just relax and unwind. Stay with us at Roma Place. You won't want to leave. Set amidst the splendor of Zambia's Lake Kariba, a stay at Lake Kariba Inns Resort yields an experience that lasts a lifetime. Catering to the needs of travelers on business or leisure, our private villas, rooms, or suites provide an unparalleled level of comfort and convenience. Family owned and run, a stay at Lake Kariba Inns Resort will exceed all your expectations. Shakespeare Court, graceful and peaceful upmarket apartments, some of the best in the city. Each apartment has a fully equipped kitchen, Wi-Fi internet, satellite TV, towels and bed linen. Appreciate a great fitness club. Free laundry, protected by world-class on-site security. You'll find an internationally designed swimming pool and conference facilities. To top it off, Shakespeare Court is ideally located next to Crossroads Mall in Cabalonga near to the U.S. Embassy and the offices of the European Union. 
If you're looking for a high standard, fully serviced department with excellent facilities and a friendly service on your next trip to Lusaka, Shakespeare Court is the choice for you. We'd love to welcome you, so why not book today? Zambia's premier hotels in Lusaka and Livingstone. Come enjoy our newly renovated rooms, highly rated food and beverage options, state-of-the-art gym and relaxing swimming pool, and experience affordable luxury accommodation at Livingstone in a world-class, family-friendly environment, a mere five minutes away from the spectacular Victoria Falls. We also offer exciting activity packages to suit every taste. Occam's Lodge, a 100% Zambian family-owned property with world-class facilities for business and leisure travelers. We offer 43 high-quality guest rooms, 33 in our property in Roma, and 10 in our property in Chalala. We are well known for our high-quality food, exceptional service, and state-of-the-art conference rooms, ideal for business meetings and special events. Occam's Lodge, your top choice in Zambia. With its majestic waterfalls, abundance of African wildlife, and captivating culture, Zambia promises to make each visitor's stay a memorable one. Perhaps no wonder when people see what this African beauty has to offer. Yet the nation has not yet utilized their diverse tourism potential, and the government now wants to increase Zambia's visibility on the global stage. Zambia is home to the world's biggest waterfall, Victoria Falls. This UNESCO World Heritage Site rises an impressive 1,708 feet into the air, double the size of Niagara Falls. Thirty percent of the country is dedicated to national parks, including some of the world's biggest game parks, which can be enjoyed through many types of safaris, in a 4x4, canoe, or even famously by foot. Zambia is Africans' surprising little-known gem, and one just waiting to shine. 